of the 60 schedule. We had a number of drivers who decided to pop down pit road and most of them just went with a little bit of fuel trying to get themselves into a window. Now you'll notice that Gus Dean's car number 98, he's carrying an onboard for us today from Gree Heating and Cooling. His car is sitting the wrong direction on pit road and there is a crew member that has been contacted or has something going on that we have the ambulance out there attending to that person. Yeah, right. we heard that Gus had an issue with his brakes coming in the pits and he uh, obviously overshot his pits and his guys were coming around the front of the car and he made contact with a couple guys. We've seen both of those guys move around, but uh, some sort of a brake issue for Gus Dean, but, but you never want to see that uh, any kind of issue like that on pit road. Yeah, it is John House who is the jack man for the number 98 team that is down on pit road. And you see that the officials are there attending to him. They've got an ambulance on the scene and they'll check him out. And hopefully uh, we, we have seen both of the crew members that were contacted by the number 98 moving around, but they do have the emergency medical people there and hopefully they'll be fine. So Gus continues to sit in his car facing the wrong direction and they're gonna put a backboard here on John. Yeah, one of the crew members was able to uh, to, able to get up, and then John has remained on the ground here, as you can see the safety workers attending to him now. So we did have a bit of a strategy play here, as most of the cars decided to do fuel only. I did hear some tires being changed there. We'll get he Heather and Jim to check that out. I'm not so sure if it wasn't Christopher Bell who maybe decided to change two tires, but we'll get that all clarified for you. But right now, all of our concerns are with the crew member that is down on the pit road. Yeah, these guys came to pit road Ray on lap number 15. That would leave us 45 laps to the end. Again, we know that Grand Invinger went 42. That's a little outside their window. We're going to have a few caution laps here. And the guys, what a great sign there, him oh, getting up. Oh, man, getting yeah. up. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Fantastic. And again, all of these guys that go over the wall do wear safety equipment. They've got helmets on. Obviously, they have fireproof suits, but whenever you're up in the air after you've made contact with a race car, uh, anyway, it looks like John is up, and that's great. And also, the front tire changer was able to get up and walk away. So that's great news. We'll give you another update when we come back to Pocono. Welcome back to Pocono. Under caution for the second time, I'm Ray Dunlap along with Phil Parsons. Jim Trado and Heather DeBoe are covering our pits today, and we had a brake failure of some sorts for Gus Dean. Here is car number 98 coming into the pits, Phil. Yeah, he looks like he's able to slow a little bit, but man, oh man, wasn't quite able to get it stopped. And look at the contact he made with our jack man and front tire changer. We have an onboard from uh, Gree Cooling Products, and we see that Pedro Martinez, who is the tire changer, got up immediately. Now from on board, look at this, John had the jack in his hand and they tried to make evasive action of some kind, but Gus wasn't able to stop at all. And you saw that car completely spin around. But those guys had the presence of mind to jump when that car got to him, Ray. And I'm telling you, I guarantee you that that was a whole lot better situation than if they would have been flat footed on the ground. And that's a look at John going to the ambulance. Once again, it's John House who is the jack man and Pedro Martinez, they will be taken to the infield care center for evaluation. But the fact that he was able to stand up and walk to the ambulance, that is fantastic. And we'll certainly be thinking about both of those guys who did a great job of avoiding that car. Now check this out on real time, Phil. We were watching in slow motion there, but look how quickly this happens. Wow. Thank goodness that those guys are wearing helmets and have the, all the safety items that they do. So Gus Dean's car has been worked on. They apparently have tried to figure out if they could repair that brake situation, but he continues to sit on pit road and we'll try to give you an update on these two crew members who were involved in that incident here before the race is over. Having some more guys head to pit road now. 32 of Shane Lee is in. We also see Tom Hessert in car number 25 coming down pit road. Had issues on pit road in the ARCA race yesterday. Very narrowly escaped serious injury. You see the cars coming down pit road right there to the right side of the screen. Both the jack man and right front tire changer really took a, a big lick. You can see both. That's Pedro Martinez across. Was able to jump high enough. 